With this blizzard now just hours away, the state and power crews are getting ready. And tonight, News 8's Bob Wilson has spent the night watching their preparation. He joins us live tonight with the latest. Bob. Yeah, we're here at the Eversource yard. You can see all of the transformers, the spools of wire. There are a lot of guys back in here, men and women, working, prepping overnight. This isn't the calm before the storm, but the storm before the blizzard. Hundreds of boom trucks heading up Interstate 91, more tree cutting equipment on Interstate 84, all of it arriving in Connecticut before the first flake of snow falls. They came in from other states as far south as Virginia, stationed throughout New England in case there are massive power outages. Because of the intensity and duration of the storm, the power companies are anticipating outages. In a storm like this, the high winds are the biggest concern for us. While the storm's still hours away, a flurry of activity inside the Eversource warehouse in Berlin. They're loading up everything from transformers to poles to wire and distributing them around the state on standby. They've also been hardening their infrastructure and beefing up the power grid during the summer. We have, over the past several years, invested significantly in the electric system, installing um, thicker wire, stronger poles. Um, all of that helps to strengthen the electric system. While Eversource is ready and has backup in nearby states, they ask that if you have a power outage, please report it immediately. Never assume that your neighbor has called it in. They respond to the area with the highest number of outages first. We are declaring a state of emergency. Obviously, there are not conditions outside right now that warrant that, so we use the title of uh, uh, preparations. In case the sight of hundreds of utility crews flooding the state doesn't drive home the seriousness of the storm, Governor Malloy spelled it out in black and white in a statewide address this evening. He asked people to keep in mind the silent killer. If you lose power and are using a generator or a grill, uh, make sure to keep them outside to prevent accidental carbon monoxide poisoning. And you should keep those generators 30 feet from the house so the fumes don't back up into your intakes into this house. Something to keep in mind, those high winds we're all hearing about that might cause those power outages, the crews can't go up in that. So if you're saying my power's out, where are the Eversource crews? They can be in the area if they can get through the snow, but they can't go up in the buckets until it's safe and the wind actually dies down. Keep that in mind. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.